Hey, what's up guys? How's everyone doing? So this is my fourth hour of PvP and I've gathered some footage for you guys. So I created this freaking monster. This thing just destroys everything. It's basically shotguns again, but times four. So <laughs> it's two laser shotguns and two um, Zimmer shot shotguns. And honestly, I, I think this is kind of broken, if I'm being honest. Like, uh, I'm not gonna cry for nerf, like, on my fourth hours of PvP, but... So far, I don't think I've seen anything that can top this in all my fights. Uh, honestly, this was my second day of PvP, and I played for about an hour, and I got the upper hand on every single opponent that we faced, so... Uh, some some people gave us a decent challenge, m mainly, um, you know, the cookie cutter uh, double pistol with uh, with the big big cannon like this tank has on its back. Those cannons are pretty much like the highest like crit I've seen, like the uh, crit damage punish that I've seen so far. So those seems to seem to be meta as well. But right now I'm definitely seeing the shotgun meta like being very very strong. So the build I created around the shotties this time around is basically a quad. It's like super efficient energy wise that's focused on uh, the assault boost. So focus on the assault boost as well. So like the generator is very efficient, all that stuff. But because it's a quad, of course, like you have crazy aptitude. So it's hard for yourself to get staggered and you can hover like you're seeing here, which can pull off some crazy maneuvers. And you can even mix in some kicks in between since you don't have a massive punish with your weapon. Like the tank, for instance, which has the double massive cannon on his back. That's probably one of the best punish. But yeah, you basically you just shotgun, shotgun, switch shotgun, and then shotgun again. And then you finish it up with another shotgun shot. So, <laughs> honestly guys, I think this is going to get nerfed if I'm being totally honest. Like, I'm seeing a lot of people playing with shotties. But uh, this is the build right here. I feel like my setup is the superior shotgun. And honestly, guys, if you find like any ways to uh, play successfully with stuff that's like more range weapon, please feel free to tell us in the comment section because right now um, I'm a bit confused as to how you're supposed to approach these. Like, you know, I became an evil man myself just getting four shotguns, but I feel a little bit for the people who have to play against it because this sort of stuff is so oppressive like you can't really get away from your opponent and um, honestly like it feels a bit feels a bit unfair at times <laughs> like it definitely feels like a build check uh, as far as this particular monster so yeah uh, either way, still enjoying my time with the game. I feel like I've improved a lot. I feel like the game is also teaching me how to play pretty well. Like, for instance, uh, every time we fight a boss or a mission, I feel like I learn something new. When we complete missions or bosses, we get new parts, we test everything, we take our time. Like, we do AC tests. You guys can even check us out live. We do this on Twitch and you guys can see the progression as well so you know it's really fun learning the game learning the new mechanic i'm really having fun mixing in the kicks as well when people are stunned so like kick attack kick attack that sort of stuff it's really fun i think the next step for me is going to be to delve into melee a bit more i feel like melee is going to be pretty strong once uh, i get a good grip on it and yeah i mean so far this is it so these are some of the matches we got. I tried to get like interesting clips, but honestly, with Armored Core, pretty much every match is action-packed like this. But yeah, I still have not played any team matches, any 3v3, but I plan on doing so soon. And I'll, I'll be sure to tell you guys about it. Uh, so yeah, also in that fourth hours of PvP, I finally finally fought my first tank like you guys saw earlier so we we fought our first match versus a tank and i was pretty excited because you know two days of pvp not seeing a single tank <laughs> in four hours i was like god damn are we ever going to see a tank people are not really pulling uh, pulling out the tanks so this time around i would say i saw a lot of people using heavy um 
heavy bipedal legs. That's what I that's what I think I saw the most. But if I'm being honest, because of the high aptitude, I feel like the quad leg is just extremely extremely strong. Because you're still very fast with those and you have like perks that you can hover around and get some crazy speed. We even fought like this guy for instance, which had four shotguns as well, but our variation is just so much more efficient. It's just better in every way because we're harder to stagger, we have more defense, we have more AP. It's just overall better. And on top of that, we have two damage type, you know? We have the physical and then we have the laser. And so we get like two opportunities or two, um, you know, we can separate our damage type to kind of counter uh, people's defenses better. So yeah, honestly, I hope you guys enjoyed these fights. I'm probably going to try to mix it up as well. You know, I'm still exploring uh, different builds. Uh, I have been playing around a little bit with pistols, not in PvP, but I'm feeling like uh, the stagger is really what the, the game is all about. Like, I'm starting to realize that you pretty much have like a setup that's going to stagger and then a setup that's going to punish the stagger. Like, what, what are you going to do after you stagger your opponent? It seems like this is pretty much what's going on right now. So, a lot of people are going for melee. A lot of people are going for the two massive cannons on the back. Uh, I've seen a few variations of these. But, ultimately, I feel like this quadruple shotgun is probably stronger. Because you can just put a lot more pressure. And it's a lot easier to get that initial stagger. You pretty much get the stagger first with, with a build like this. So this, for instance, this guy, this is a very cookie cutter build, dual Gatling with the, the massive punish on the back. Uh, I was also excited to fight something like this because I feel like this would, uh, this would be feared by many, but not us. Not today. Not on day two. I hope you guys enjoyed these fights and I'll catch you guys up later. Alright, take care everyone.